WWE announced $297.6 million in revenue. That's all, Actually, that's the uh, revenue and operating. Let me start over again. So I don't write these articles. I just try and read them. Say it. $297.6 million of revenue and $53.1 million in operating income. Got it? Okay. The revenue number down by 11% year over year due to, and I quote, a shift in the timing of the staging of a large-scale international event which occurred in the first quarter of 2022 but is expected to occur in the second quarter of 2023. They're talking about Saudi Arabia. These Saudi Arabia events are so lucrative that one event being shifted results in a 11% year-over-year revenue decline. Yeah, and they make so much money, yeah. Area Manual would shift his morals. $60.8 million was the uh, revenue they generated from one event in Saudi Arabia last year. $60.8 million mm-hmm. for a, a show. Yeah. Why do you think they're getting a world championship tournament? Why do you think they get bent over backwards for all this stuff? You know, They bend over backwards to give them all that stuff. That's why. This is all about the dollar. So, Let's see. During a Q&A portion of the investors' call, Nick Khan revealed the exclusive media rights negotiating window for both Fox and NBCU was about a month each. The window opened on April 1st. That would indicate more news would be coming soon as related to outside parties being able to bid. When it comes to interest from outside parties, Khan reiterated, exclusive means exclusive. Company touted quarter one North American ticket sales revenue. Ticket sale revenue up 52% year over year. 37% increase in average attendance. Overall revenue up 30, uh, $23.1 million in quarter one. Or, I'm sorry, it's up from uh, 23 to 32. So uh, 50 ticketed events in North America. Uh, last year was uh, 53 so it's not like they did more events. They just sold way more tickets for all of their events that they uh, that they had this year. So, you know, for people that are trying to claim that, in fact, WWE is not hotter, it actually is significantly hotter year over year than it was a year ago. Let's see. Domestic unique viewership on Peacock increased 31% year over year. Global unique viewership increased 29%. Merchandise sales up 20% year over year. Which uh, that's twenty percent. Last year they they set the the all time record for attendance. This year they were twenty percent higher than the previous all time record. Then we have uh, sponsorship for WrestleMania did very well. Seven percent increase in viewership for both Raw and SmackDown, significantly outperforming overall cable and broadcast television, which declined fifteen percent and six percent respectively. So television overall is down year over year. WWE is up. They're going to make a lot of money on this next deal. We have uh, consumer product revenue increased to 39.3 from 32.2 last year, which is a giant increase over a previous record. They uh, Oh, here's bad news. If you're looking for bad news, Riddick said they expect to save between 50 and $100 million post-merger. You know what that means, don't you? Mm-hmm. That means between UFC and WWE, they're going to be doing between 50 and $100 million in cuts. I guess that's not entirely true necessarily because some of that savings could be, you know, we can we can sell off some of this equipment and use this equipment for these shows. So it's not all personnel that will be the result of, of 50 to $100 million in cuts, but... There's going to be cuts. You got to look at the human aspect of that. And I, you know, look, we talked about how swollen these rosters are. And I know you're not particularly, you know, I'm not sure how exactly how you feel about this, but I can see with these call ups that were made and some of the call ups that were made where you kind of scratch your head. I wonder if in June that we don't get, or July or something like that, that we don't get one of those post-WrestleMania bloodlettings, and I'm not looking forward to it. I don't want to say it's going to happen, but it certainly feels like it may. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? 
That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why does he do that? Me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.